Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'da habitifillah. One thing I want to mention before talking about the prayer uh, and, and leaving the prayer and making up uh, the missed prayers and some of the different ahkam. One of the things I want to mention because uh, often you find the same questions over and over. If you are coming to my channel, do a search. Uh, do a search and you'll find. And I just found a video that I did approximately two to three years ago, or three years ago at least, uh, which is covering exactly what I'm about to say. Uh, but I'll try to make this very concise and to the point pertaining to the brother who asked this question. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq. So if you are someone who comes to my channel, then look for the uh, issue or do a search on the channel and a lot of times you might find what you're looking for. You might find that it's been I did it years ago and of course there's many better than me that you could go to but I'm saying for those who come to my channel and obviously you come to my channel because you're here is that you should make a search so that way it's not the same recurring uh, question and another point with this I want to mention is sometimes people ask questions and for clarifications or not even a clarification but they say things or make comments and it was addressed very clearly in the video a particular brother asked about a particular sheikh and what I said regarding the issue was said in the video so it's as if the person didn't really listen to the whole video or just saw the title and then said, well, you know, I, I got this and this and this from Sheikh so-and-so and Sheikh so-and-so. And I discussed that in the video that I what? That I read exactly. I, I bought and purchased every single book I can find on the market pertaining to the issue. So I'm very well aware of what has been said pertaining to the particular issue at hand and what the Sheikh said in his own defense and so on and so forth. So my point being is make a search and don't uh, be wasteful of your time and uh, and so forth. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success and tawfiq. Firstly, hukum of salat. The hukum of salat. What is the ruling of salat? Salat al khams, fard, ayn, ala kulli muslim mukallif, nakla ijma'ala dhalik, ibn hizam, wa ibn, uh, ibn hazm, uh, wa ibn rushd, we know we live in Taymiyyah. So, uh, of course, we know uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in the Quran, Waqimu uh, Salat, and establish the prayer. So, prayer is an obligation, the five daily prayers, an obligation on every Muslim, every responsible Muslim. Specifically, Fard al Ain means every particular individual must fulfill this obligation. And as far as the ulama, it was, it's ijma. Nakla uh, ijma or consensus from Ibn Hazm, wa Ibn Rushd, wa Imam al Nawawi, wa Imam Sheikh al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. So all of these great imma, these great imams, have all mentioned there's consensus on this, and I think there's no issue with this. What is the ruling regarding leaving the salat? Jahadin li wujubiha. So this is what is the rule ruling pertaining to leaving the prayer. Not just intentionally, but leaving the prayer and believing it is not an obligation, refusing to believe it's an obligation upon you. The hukum for this: Mantaraka salat jahidin li wujubiha fakad kafara nakla ijma'al adalik ibn Abdul Bar wa Nawawi wa Sheikh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. So the one who leaves the prayer intentionally believing that it is not an obligation upon them then this person has is, is a disbeliever and three great imams at least mention consensus about this issue uh, Imam Ibn Abdul Bar, Imam Anawi and Imam Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimah Allah Jameen another issue so what is the ruling regarding the one who leaves the prayer out of laziness or 
and um, carelessness and they leave the Salat entirely. They leave it entirely from laziness and uh, and so forth. Tarak al-Salat al-Kulliya tahawana wa kaslan kafran kufran makhraj min al-Milla wa hadha madhab al-Hanabila wajhu عند al-Shafi'iya wa qul عند al-Malakiya wa bihi qala taifa min al-Salaf wa huwa madhab jamhur ashab al-Hadith wa dhahaba ila hadha Ibn, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah wa Ibn Al-Qayyim wa Khtar bin Uthaymin. The one who leaves the prayer uh, out of entirely, they leave the prayer entirely and they do it out of laziness or carelessness, then this person is a disbeliever who's left the religion of Islam according to the madhab of, of the Hanbali scholars and also through some through one of the statements of, uh, or one of the views of the Shafi'i scholars, and also in accordance to a, uh, a view, one of the views, meaning that there's more than one view, with the Maliki scholars. And also a group of the Salaf held this view. So the one who's lazy with regards to their prayer, they miss their prayer, that they have disbelieved. Uh, meaning that they are lazy and they miss, they don't pray at all. They don't pray at all due to laziness. They're always having coffee. They just don't pray. They just say, you know, I do believe Salat is, is an obligation, but I'm not going to pray. This person has left it out of careless, careless, carelessness, but they believe it's an obligation, but they're just careless. It's not as important to them. All of these ulama say that they, this person has left the fold of Islam. And this is also the madhab of majority of ashab al-hadith, meaning the scholars of hadith. Majority of scholars of hadith also hold this view that the person who has left it out of laziness entirely is a disbeliever. And likewise, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah held this view, Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim held this view, and uh, Shaykh uh, bin Uthaymeen, rahimahumullah jami'an, also held this view. What uh, the next issue that I want to address, which deals with the question, the has to do with qada, making up the salat. Qada, and we're just going to talk about one particular issue, and this is the issue at hand which the questioner asked about. Qada men taraka salat amdin hatta kharaja waktaha. The one who left the prayer intentionally until the prayer, uh, till they missed the prayer. So they did it intentionally and they missed the prayer. They intentionally missed the time of prayer. This, so this person, maybe just one Salat even. There's two views regarding this. So the ulama, akhtalafu ulama ala qawlain. The ulama, they have two views. <coughs> For the one who leaves the prayer intentionally until the time leaves. The first view, they say that the one who leaves the prayer intentionally until its time has, has gone, then they must make it up. This is the first view. So the first view is that the, pre, the person must make it up. And this is the four imams, the, the, the madhabs of the four imams hold this. So the Hanabila, the the Shafi'iya, the, Ma, the Malikiya, the Shafi'iya, and the uh, uh, Ahnaf, the, the, so the, the Hanafi scholars, the Shafi'i scholars, the Maliki scholars, and the Hanabila scholars, as far as the Madhab, they hold this view that the person should make qada for the Salat that they missed. Uh, and the second view is that there is no Qadha, there is, the one who leaves the prayer intentionally, even if it's one prayer, and it they miss the time for the prayer, that there is no qadha, there is no making up the prayer. And this is the view of the Vahiriya, those uh, a particular group of fiqh scholars uh, and hadith scholars that held the view that looking at the vahir or the apparent meaning of the text. They didn't really look at the reasoning behind uh, revelations and so forth. They just took the apparent meaning. They were very, they're the most extreme literalist. 
You know, they took the text just literally and they didn't look for reasons. They didn't look for the wisdom behind the text or anything. They just looked at the apparent meaning of the text. So the Vahiriya hold this view. Also, Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah held this view. Uh, ibn Rajib also held this view. Uh, Sheikh uh, bin Baz also held this view. And bin Uthaymeen also held this view uh, regarding this issue, that there's no uh, qada. So, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. My advice for a person in this situation is that at least, you know, especially if it's been a long period of time, if it is one or they missed it for one day or something, then they can be safe by making, trying to make qada, you know, and making, you know, this qada will be nawafil for them, bi'idnillah, and make kathr to nawafil. And this is what many of the mashayikh, they mention, that the person should make toba, they should repent regardless. You repent for this major sin that takes you, uh, you know, as a taifa, a, a group of the ulama said, that takes you out of the uh, fold of Islam. That this person should make toba at least. Make your toba. Repent from this major sin. And if it's just a short, short, you miss one day or something like this, you were missing, you left off salat out of carelessness or whatever, then try to make those up. And many nawafil, many uh, uh, extra prayers, as much as possible. Always getting your sunnas to make up for the what you, you miss and make up for those sins. If you hold the other view, then basically the prescription is the same, that you are not making qada for that, but you still make repentance and you make as much nawafil as possible. So this is the shahid. This is the main point. Make toba and make as much nawafil as possible. Another issue, because it's not clear from the person's question, is they mentioned something about leaving the fold of Islam or not having been Muslim. So it wasn't clear. So this is the case if the one has left the prayer. But the one who has was not a Muslim in the first place, then they are not responsible for the prayer and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. So when you enter Islam, you don't start just making make it up for the, you entered Islam at 20 years old and you start making qada. No, instead you make salat like you begin your salat then and of course it is encouraged to follow the sunnah of the message of Allah and make nawafil and try to make the uh, as much nawafil prayers as possible and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah anything I said that was incorrect was from myself the shaitan